Welcome to MTR's Vlogs. Today I'm here to review the American Muscle SUV, the Hummer H2. You can see this car is massive in size and we are doing the review it today. A rare car in Bangladesh too. So if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. How big we grow, how expensive the car is going to get. So subscribe. Now let's start the full review. So guys, now let's start the review. But before that, this car is owned by Road King Motors. If you want to contact with them, their Facebook page is going to be at the description. Now let's start the review. So first, let's show you the headlights. So guys, first let's show you the headlights. So I'm going to get inside the car and turn on the headlights. Yes, this is a left-hand drive car. Let's get in this massive beast. We are inside. And here we go. And with the hazards are on. There. And let's come out. So, these are the headlights of the Hummer H2. You can see, because this is an OG car, in the newer generation we have LEDs. But this is an older generation car. It's a 2000s car. It's a beast off-roaders. But Hummer got discontinued and GMC bought Hummer and they're bringing an EV Hummer. But we like the petrol one better, obviously. These are the headlights. You have the hazards over here. And at the same at the other side and then we have the seven slot grill with hummer written you could see the radiators in here to cool this massive engine i'm going to talk about the engine later because it has a big engine under that you can see it has a very nice bumper like you can like push a la uh, land cruiser brado and just get it like get out of my way like it's so big then you have some more open air vents over here and this full front bumper you have one two tow hooks this is for pulling someone out from the ditch you are not going to get stuck you're going to pull someone else very nice front and very amazing now let's show you the engine so guys then you have to open it from here then if you go on the front you can see this car is really wide it's 2065 mm in wide it's really wide and in inches it is 81.3 inch like look it's massive like i can't even touch the this side of the side with my hand so now let's open the engine with the help of a brother so guys this engine this is a six liter naturally aspirated american v8 like the classic americans the output from this engine 393 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque it is four wheel drive it is very heavy and it does decent fuel economy just look at that American Classic V8. It's such a big engine and it sounds amazing. So this is for the engine. It's really big. You could see the hood comes here. You could see those lights and stuff like that and the mechanism. And now we're going to close the hood and let's show you the side profile. So guys, then after closing it, put this back there and then you have to do it from the other side. Come over this side and then do the same thing. Put here and boom. There you go. We're done with the engine. Now let's show you the full side profile. So guys, then you have the side profile. You have another light over here. It counts as a reflector on this side because in American regulations, you need a light on this side and a light at the back. But in Bangladesh, we don't need this. So the wheel, you can see these wheels are massive. These are 315, 70 R17s. So these are full off-road tires. You can see very nice. So this wheel, in the Hummer H1, you can deflate and inflate the tires from inside. So that's a good way on desert because in desert, you have to get the thing low and then go like in the Mercedes 6x6. But in the Hummer H2, you don't have that. But you have the same wheel cap. So they cover the mechanism with this wheel cap. So everyone knows that this also has the same thing. This is for the wheel. You can see it's very nice. Now let's get up. You have another air vent over here for getting the engine heat out. Very goodly arranged from Hummer. You have the mirror over here with H2 written in chrome. Very nice. You have another H2 badge over here and very nice door. So guys, now let's show you the side profile. So the wheel base of the car is 122 inch. If you want to know an MM, it's going to be written over here. And the ground clearance is also going to be written because it depends on the air suspension. If you put it upwards, it's more. But if you put it down, it's less. So this is for the side profile. You can see it is a very long car. The length is also going to be written over here. 
with the ground clearance. You can see the side steps are over here for getting inside the car. The door openers are here and the doors are huge. Like look how fat the door is. And it's really heavy but you don't feel it because of the shocks. You have to just close it. Boom. The mirrors also have a nice design. And this too. On the side profile you have the fuel tank over here. So if, if you just want to fill up you have to just unlock this from the inside and open it. You have another light. I told you the American regulation. That's why you need this. And the rear wheels are also the same as the front. They are the same. Yeah. They're 315, 17, R70, R17s. The same wheels, very nice. It has a clever four wheel drive system with a differential and sway bar. This is for the side profile. Now let's show you the beautiful rear. Yes, now we're on the rear of the car. So you can see it has a very nice design for the rear. You have the number plate slot over here with two lights and a reversing camera. Come up, this windshield is heated. You have a windshield wiper right here. You have the visibility lights with the brake lights that I'm gonna show you a little later. Then you have the back bumper with Hamar. And then you have a towing hinge that the car pass. You have a towing hinge, so if you want to tow another car behind you, you can do that. And look at the tow hooks, like, bro, I can pull this car if, it, if the handbrake is off and it, if it is in reverse. So it's very, very, very strong. And this is for the rear. Very nice. Now let's show you the tail lights. So guys, now let's show you the tail lights. So I have the key on my hand. So this is the second key for unlock and lock and the alarm. And this is the key with the H2. So now let's get inside, let's start up the car, let's show you the rear. I forgot to unlock the car like always. There we go in, closing the door for the outside noise. And here we start up the car, put on the brake, pressing the start button. The car has been started. There you go, the full light is on with the hazards. And if I just put it on reverse right away, there it's on reverse. This is for the full light with the brake lights. Put it back to park and leave the brake. Now let's come outside. The door handle is such a hassle to open, like seriously. So here, you guys saw, you have the brake light, hazards, reverse. Another brake light here, like simple. Hummer doesn't want anything to be hard or something. It's literally simple, like it doesn't need anything else. This is for the full rear of the... So guys, there you can see the tail lights. Very nice in my opinion. If you see on the side, this is actually, it works also as a hazard light, but in red. There you go, that's for it, for opening the boot. You have to do it from here. Just pull this and it opens. There you go, it has hydraulic struts, obviously. So why is the spare wheel here? If you want the spare wheel on the boot, you can do that. But if you want it over here, you can do that. So Bhaya decided that he wants it on here, so he did it. It's a six seater car, but if you need more cargo space, you can just pull this and boom. The boot space is going to written. It is actually a decent sized boot. Like you can put a lot of stuff over here. There you go. The back, it's very nice. You have a light up here. If you guys come a little closer. There. And another cool feature that I think, if someone kidnaps you and it puts you at the boot, you can unlock the car from here and get out. So no one can kidnap you in a Hummer H2. I don't know of H1 or a H3, but on the H2, no one can do that. Done with the rear, now let's see the rear seats. So guys, on the rear seats, you can see the seats are very comfortable. It is a 60-40 split, so it's very comfortable. Come a little closer, you have the air vents over here as the same color of the car. Very nice, metallic finish over here. You have your system for the rear, the infotainment, I guess. And then you have the heated seats for rear and controls you have some storage over here that you can put your mobile device a 12 volt socket and another 12 volt socket there and then if we get if we get up you can see if anyone sits here it's going to be very comfortable because the seats are very comfortable you have a center armrest over here with two cup holders and a phone holder i guess and it has through loading too so if you want to grab this this is for the true loading, but it is a 60-40 distribution. So if I pull this, the seat's going to come at my face. So I'm not going to do that. Now if I come on the 40 distribution, you can see seat pockets. Enough room for me. You have a handle over here for getting in and out. These are the doors. This is the lock, unlock. This is the door handle, like this. Wow. You have a grab handle here. These are the window openers. The rear are privacy glass. 
another room light over here a Bose sound system this is a Bose sound system then you have storage over here now we're done with the rear of the car let's go on the front so guys then you have the room light over here and you have another reflector so if someone comes from back this is going to reflect if this is off so now let's go on the front because I delayed it and now let's go on the front seats yeah yeah it's a left-hand drive car but that's actually cool for Bangladesh getting in and you guys come from the other side guys now on the interior you can see everything is so cool and it is so roomy you have armrest on both of the seats at the front you have a storage in the middle you have a yeah decent size storage but you guys can see because you guys are on that side you have two cup holders very nice you could put your drinks you have three sockets for charging your device you have some controls over here for your emergency you have the climate control of the car you have the infotainment system that is aftermarketly fitted with Bose sound system that is from the company you have your off-road modes like your four-wheel drive up four-wheel drive low four-wheel drive lock then you have your differential lock because you can lock the rear differential with this car so there then over here you have your off-road modes like here like your height and stuff like that you have the AC vents that are very nicely designed on both of the sides you have a mic that's very nice on this car you have a sunroof yeah you have a sunroof then this is the rear view mirror that is auto dimmed very nice and like I told you the system over here and then showing you this you have a grab handle over here because it's a proper off-roader you have the airbag passenger airbag off these are just warnings that no one cares about glove box with decent room too over here so you could put your sunglass over here and then close it but this is not going to fit there you go this is it for the center this is the gear novel it's like a flight plane so if you just go like I want to fly and just go back so third second first gear shift this for drive neutral and it's for reverse there and then back to park there now come from this side let's show you the driver's side guys, i forgot to show you one thing at the rear you actually have a tv screen right here a rear infotainment the controller is down there so i forgot to show you this so i just quickly just showed you there now come at this side so guys then we have the full steering wheel it is very nice it is adjustable and it is a telescope steering wheel it is fully leather strap you have controls over here over here over here and over here horn with the hammer logo with the airbag in the center then over here you have your light controls and then you have the interior room lights you could see all the lights are on and all the lights are off you have the light canceller on you have the windshield wiper speed there and very nice it's like very nice then if we come down you have the parking brake here the leg brake actually so you just push this and then just pull this very nice engineered from Hummer there and then if you guys come closer now we are fully done with this side you have controls over here with your windshield wipers your high beam and your headlights controls everything is over here now I'll show you the full rpm let's now let's start up the car the car has been started and now let's show you the full rpm so you can see this is the rpm it doesn't have a red liner it all the way goes to 6000 rpm you have the speedo in the middle top speed 120 miles per hour in the center then you have your controls like your fuel your engine temperature your engine oil temperature your battery kilowatts and you have a center screen with your mileage written like your trip a you have a blinking sign this is for the seat belt of the car and yeah it's very nice like i love the classic rpm meter from hummer there you go very nice now if you guys come a little black come a little back not black let's show you the door because we are almost done with everything so you have all the window controls this is fully automatically adjustable there and all goes down all goes up lock and unlock is over here you have your seat controls over here. seat control is over here it is a poweredly adjustable seat there it is powerly adjustable and it is heated look it has heating seats your back and the down part then you have memory seats for the for this car like bro in 2000 you have memory seats wow door openers over here like i told you room light and a reflector storage and you can see it is a bose sound system there bose 
now we are fully done with the review so let's turn off everything turn off the car let's get out of the car because we are done there so if you're not subscribed yet hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you want to see more reviews like this listen how many subscribers i have how much expensive car is going to come if i have like now i currently have 28k if we go to 100k we're going to get more expensive cars so hit the subscribe button let's go to 100k subscribers that is the dream goal for me this is the car if you need this car or contact with the showroom road king imports their road king motors their facebook pages are the description contact with them now enjoy the beautiful close view